In this video, I'm gonna show you how to answer the interview question, what is your greatest weakness? But first, I'm gonna tell you what not to say. First, don't say that you don't have any weaknesses. This defeats the whole purpose of the question because the point of the question is to see if you have a level of self-awareness and if you are always striving to improve. Second, don't give a weakness that's a huge mistake that you had made or is something that's really important for the role because you're gonna end up getting yourself rejected by being too honest. Third, don't forget to subscribe to the Career Shakers YouTube channel so you can get free career advice. And four, don't try to turn your strength into a weakness. It just makes it sound like you're bragging and it comes across as arrogant. Plus, Plus, there's also no way to prove that you can fix this or working to improve. Okay, so how do you actually answer the interview question, what is your greatest weakness? Well, the weakness that you pick should be something that you're not really good at, but is not super critical to doing the job. You should pick something like public speaking in front of a large audience, or saying that you don't have a lot of exposure or experience working with global teams, if this is not part of your role. Next, make sure the weakness that you choose has a good story that can go along with it that shows how you improved on that weakness or how by fixing this weakness or mistake, you were actually able to benefit your team. And it needs to be more than saying something like, well, I used to be bad at this, but I've been working on it and now I'm actually good at it. That's just not a good answer because as your boss, I would have no assurance that you're not gonna make this mistake again. And I'm also not really confident that you've improved on this. You're basically saying, just trust me, it's not gonna happen again. Okay, so now I'm gonna walk you through an actual example that you could give in an interview if you wanted to answer the question, what is your greatest weakness? Now for me, let's just pick that I'm gonna say my greatest weakness is that I have very little exposure to working with global teams or on global projects. One of my greatest weaknesses is that I don't have a lot of exposure to working with international teams and handling international scope of projects. I know this is gonna be really important if I ever wanna become a lead or a manager one day since this is a global company. To improve this, in my current role, I've actually taken an interim lead position since my manager has recently left. And then I'm gonna follow that up by giving a very short example that shows how I'm getting exposure to improve on this weakness or build up on this skill. And I may even share one or two very small and minor mistakes that I had made and what I had learned from it. I would say something like, I'm now working with teams abroad in APAC, so I'm handling both my goals and their delivery goals as well. But of course, since I'm new to this, I had to learn all of the different labor laws in their different countries. And I also had to figure out how to build new reports for management at a global scale. And I had to learn through my mistakes that I made early on, like how my communication style doesn't quite fit with the different regional nuances. And also how I overestimated the timeline and commitment that it would take to reach certain milestones because I wasn't aware of the mandated cooling period. To improve on this for myself, but also to help my teammates, I've created a new onboarding document, resource, and checklist to help our team expand internationally as our company is looking to expand our global footprint. This way we can effectively scale across my organization and so other people can learn from my mistakes that I have made. And remember, this question is basically a trap. They want you to share something that's a little too honest, which may lead to getting you rejected. So now you know exactly how to answer this question and what not to say. But put in the comments below what other interview questions you think you're getting stuck on and I can make a video about that. Thank you all for watching. Good luck in your upcoming interviews and don't be afraid to shake things up.